A really quick life lessons in a funny car. The motor sits in front of you when it blows up, it's sitting in your lap, and so is all the oil and fuel and fire. So uh, you kind of you value your skin, you start learning quick. I think really what separates you as an athlete is your mental ability and be able to rise to those occasions. And, and when you have an occasion come up, you know, a lot of people don't want to deal with the pressure. They're afraid they're going to mess up, you know. So, you know, for me, I look at it as an opportunity, man. Like, I got a chance to make history to be great right here instead of like, oh, no, don't mess this up. But it's, it doesn't happen overnight like that. It, it, you have to train yourself. You have to mentally and physically um, become stronger, you know. And, and I, don't, I don't really think that a lot of people really work on their, their mind game. There's gonna be mistakes happen. I'm gonna make mistakes as a driver. My crew chief is gonna make mistakes tuning. These guys are gonna end up making mistakes. But I think you have to focus on what is your, your task, man. Like, you can only control so much out there. You know, I see guys puking a trash can and they're, they, you know, they're like, oh my gosh, what if, what if I don't do this or do that? But what do you have in your control? And that's what I tell my guys, man. You only have so much that you have control over. Focus on that, kill that, man. Make that happen. Be so zoned in that you're touching it. You're not just going through the parts and pieces. And the rest of it, let it take care of yourself. I can only control leaving on time, keeping it in the groove, turning the wind light on, putting the parachutes out, man. It's simple. Control what you control, do the best of that, and let everybody else take care of the rest.